Hello guys, welcome to Catalips. Today I want to show you how to download OSM data using three different methods. Uh, so the method, methods uh, include, first of all, we're going to use QGIS to download OSM data. Then secondly, we're doing, going to export OSM data, OpenStreetMap data using uh, the OpenStreetMap website. Then thirdly, we're going to use a website called geofabric which is very good when you want to export data for a large area maybe you want to export data for your for the whole country the roads the rivers the streams the canal the points of trees the polygons land use everything for the whole continent you can do that in geofabric so let's get to it my daughter so first of all you have to go to qgis open your qgis mine is already open so when you get to QGIS, what you do is you have to add what we call a best map, a best map um, or an X, Y, Z tie. So in this case, we want to add an OSM best map so that you can be able to identify the area. Maybe you want to identify a, a, a portion of your city, a part of your city to download for, for a small part of your city. So you need to locate where it is in your OSM base map so otherwise that, that's why it is important that you first add a base map so in order to add a base map or a tile you come to XYZ tiles under your browser then you say new connection and then you come here uh, you say OS OSM open street map then the URL you can find it here let me show you you say um, QGIS XYZ tiles. You will find the URLs for a number of. So it's this one QGIS 30 XY tiles layers. Um, so these are the URL. This is the URL for OpenStreetMap, uh, MapNIC, OS, OSM, Cycle Map. So depending on the kind of base map that you want to add, you copy the. Um, this uh, this URL and paste it in your in QGIS here under URL just paste it there and then you say OK then you open your XYZ I've already added a uh, hundred base maps so but you can go and open and look for the OSM that we already we just uh, added to QGIS which is this one just double click it's gonna open a base map for you and then you search the area that you are interested in. For instance, I'm interested in uh, downloading data for Zimbabwe, Blawayo. So, uh, take note that if you want to download using QGIS, if you download for a larger area like the whole country, it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of your space, uh, and a lot of your data. So, uh, if you're using QGIS, I'll advise you that um, you download maybe for a small portion, like I want to download for a city center in Blawayo. Uh, I just come here. Okay, then. Uh, what do we use to download uh, these roads? You see the roads, the polygons, the points that are here. What do we use to download? We use what we call an OSM downloader uh, plugin. So in order to add the OSM downloader plugin, you have to go to plugins, manage and install plugins. And then you search for OSM. Just write type OSM. Uh, you'll see OSM download double click on it click on it and then you come here and say install the plugin so this is how you identify the, the, the plugin on your QGIS window it has a, a hand with the finger that is pointing to a rectangle so this white hand you have to look for it when you come to QGIS here sometimes it's located somewhere here uh, sometimes to the right of your QGIS window here so you locate this hand you just click on it and come and draw a box a, a rectangle or a square whatever here in your map covering the area that you're interested in so i'm just interested in that so uh, you then make sure you click on load layer after download and then save file then you save your file as blawayo or the same okay and then you say save Gonna take some time, uh, so I'll fast forward so that.
Okay, it is downloaded successfully. So let's look at our um, let's look at our data. I'll close this one. So if you let's first check. So these are rivers from our base map. You see, this is Luveve Road. This is the river across Luveve Road. So if I click lines and I unclick this, so you see, these are OSM lines. We have our roads and then our rivers, our streets, um, and then we have multi polygons. This is land use, buildings, vegetation, and so forth. So you can then take your points. Uh, export them and save them as a shape file and make sure you change here the coding system for instance for blah white it's gonna be UT, uh, WGS 84 UTMs on 635S and then you save it as blah wire lines and then you come blah wire points and then you come back and do your filtering choose the points that you're interested in uh, for instance there will be points for for trees points for buildings points for for traffic signs like uh, uh, crossings, what other you see? So it depends on what you are interested in. You come back and you do your filtering. You do the same for your lines. You do the same for your polygons. If you are interested in buildings, you filter building polygons. If you are interested in lines, roads, you just come to highway, uh, filter by highway, and you filter. Uh, your primary, secondary, and your residential roads. If you're interested in waterways, you come here also for drains, for rivers, for streams, and so forth. So this is how you download using uh, QGIS. Okay, number two. We can download also using the website OSM. OSM. Just type OSM. Open street map. OSM download. And then you come here, you search for your place. Like I'm interested in Blawayo. I'll come and search for Blawayo. It will take me to Blawayo. And then, and then I go to export. Now, uh, if you want to download again here, for a larger area, it's not possible to do that. It's telling me that this area is too large to be exported as an open street XML data. So what you need to do is to reduce the area, um, your, your, your area of interest. If I reduce, I zoom in, it will show, it will remove the uh, error message. So I'm able to export this window, this whole map now. You can export now. You, if you export this, you'll export everything that appears here in the in the window. But if you're interested, maybe in drawing for a small area, maybe you're just interested in this area, you come here and say manually select a different area. You come here and reduce your your area of interest until it covers uh, the area that you're interested in. After you do so, you then press export. If you Download for a large area, it's going to take some time. If you download for a small area, it's going to be very, very fast. Okay. So let's come here. Let me remove uh, these ones. Come here and import your OSM down data. Go to vector. Make sure you choose file. And then you go and search for the OSM that you already downloaded. Uh, map OSM. Open. Okay, open everything. So, here is our OSM data. Uh, we have our, our lines. Uh, we have the names of roads, names of streets, some plumped road and everything. We have uh, uh, the type of roads. Is it a trunk road? Is it a primary road? You, you can filter using any way that you want. Another important thing that you can use is text. The text helps you to identify maybe the, the size of the road, the number of lanes in this road. Maybe you're interested in a road that has got two lanes, so you can utilize uh, text. That's where people write uh, information about this uh, feature. So that's it for downloading data using OSM website. Now we, are, we want to download data from uh, another website 
called uh, Geofabric. So Geofabric is good because you are able to download for the whole country. As you realize that in QGIS, we are able to download for a small area in order for it to be quick. Uh, in OSM website, you can only download for a small area also. But now the question is, how do you download for the whole continent? How do you download for the whole country? How do you download for the whole region? So Geofabric is your answer. You go to Geofabric, type Geofabric, uh, Geofabric download you can you can go to geofabric download you go to geofabric slash 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 download you go there and then you go down until you find geofabric downloads Okay, so you can download as you can see you can download for the for for the for Africa you can download for Antarctica Asia for all the continents uh, depending on the one that you're interested in. okay uh, so in order to download for Africa you just come here you press OSM PPF but it's large data set 4.9 gig so you come here you say download it's gonna download automatically but I've already downloaded this one, so I'm not interested in downloading it. Uh, let's say you are interested in downloading for a specific country. You come to Africa, you press there, it will give you sub regions. So, with Algeria, Angola, all the countries have got uh, OSM data. So, I'm interested in downloading for um, data for, for Seychelles. Maybe data for let me see, let me see. Let's say data for let's download data for Sudan. You just press on it. This download for, for Tunisia. Okay, Tunisia is now downloading. It's about uh, 70 megabytes. So the larger the area, the larger the country, the larger the data sets. Uh, like you can see some are about 195, some about 400 and, uh, 500, 543 megabytes and so forth. So it depends on the size of the country that you're downloading from. So after it has, it has downloaded, you then go to QGIS and try to import the data on QGIS. Let's see. Mm, uh, you go and import the data that you've already downloaded. So we have Tunisia latest OSM. You download it. Edit your map. Okay. So if it's large, it's going to take some time to load in QGIS. So it's loading points. Um, we have lines, we have uh, polygons, and we have points. So you can then export this data to shape file and come and uh, filter it. Depending if you are interested in roads, you can filter it by highway. If you're interested in uh, rivers, you can filter it by uh, the column for way if you're interested in uh, canals you're interested in uh, um, paths and so forth it depends on what you're interested in and then when you come to polygons you'll find polygons for um, vegetation for buildings for um, for a number of things like land, land use and so forth so if you're interested in a specific specific element of that data you filter it by a certain color so that's it guys that's how you download the data from QGIS from or SM website and from the Geo Fabric website, which is the best for downloading data for a larger area. Thank you guys. See you next time. Subscribe to my channel. Let's go. Back up. That's for Daniel.